Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how the 2016 iPhone SE first generation handles the latest iOS 14 developer beta. Now before we get into the video, as always, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with more content like this. Every subscriber truly does mean a lot. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS 14 Developer Beta 1 released right after Apple's WWDC 20 event last Monday. iOS 14 brings many new features such as widgets on the home screen, an app library, app clips, the ability to hide one or more pages on the home screen, and so much more. iOS 14 also brings a variety of long-awaited general user interface changes. We now have an unobtrusive call bar, completely redesigned and unobtrusive Siri design, and an all-new widget page design, and even more. In terms of general performance, the iPhone SE is shockingly fast on iOS 14 Beta 1. For example, apps launch very fast and web pages load fairly quickly. There hasn't been any noticeable decrease in performance from iOS 13 after updating iOS 14 in my experience. Now animations are also very smooth. I haven't experienced any major lag or stuttering in system animations. I've even noticed some new animation differences in iOS 14. Notification banners have a slightly slower, bouncier animation, and folders have a slower, smoother animation when opening and closing. As for RAM management, I have noticed some more app reloads after keeping apps open in the background for a little while. Now it's not that bad actually, and it's certainly not much worse than iOS 13. The iPhone SE does only have 2GB of RAM, and it has to load more widgets now, as well as perform other background tasks. So, considering that this is a 2016 phone with 2GB of RAM on the latest major iOS beta release, I think it's safe to say that RAM management is actually pretty good. Battery life while running iOS 14 developer beta 1 on the iPhone SE has been terrible in my experience. Now I should take a second to mention that my iPhone SE is running off of a maximum battery capacity of 91% and has had a restart. However, I have manually disabled performance throttling in settings, meaning that my iPhone SE is not being performance throttled to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. Now I have noticed a pretty severe battery drain while running iOS 14 beta 1. It got so bad at one point that I was actually able to watch the battery drain by 1% every like 15 seconds while just sitting on the home screen. Since then, the battery life has gotten better and it doesn't drain like that anymore, but there is still a very noticeable battery drain especially when compared to iOS 13. I'd strongly recommend keeping a spare charger with you and using a battery case as you'll likely need to charge the iPhone throughout the day. Now, when it comes to standby time, I've been noticing a drain of about 9 to 14% overnight, which is just about the same as the iPhone 7. Now, I have noticed that my iPhone SE is overheating a lot when using pretty much any app. The iPhone gets very hot while performing basic tasks. Now, this is not a good thing at all, and I really hope this is fixed in a future beta build soon. Overall, the iPhone SE has been great with iOS 14 in terms of performance. However, the iPhone SE has taken a hard hit with the battery and overheating with this beta, and I really hope to see a fix soon. Now, it is the first beta of the next major iOS release, so these types of issues are expected. Now, as always, if you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below, and I will of course see it. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. Now if you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot and it is very appreciated. Make sure to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.